Right. Uh, I've just arrived in Lancaster. Why am I in Lancaster? I'm, I'm here as part of a residency program, so I'm here for the week. Uh, as part of Lancaster University Entrepreneurship, something, something or the other workspace. So this is exciting. I'm in a relatively small hotel room. It's been quite a journey and uh, I'll catch you up on it in a moment. Can you just imagine? It's like these people didn't really know my true character. Uh. Yeah, foreign affairs, that is my department. You get to meet me only by husband. People didn't really understand my husband. I'm so jaded. Look at all my garments. Excuse me, what is all this embarrassment? Why will you give me pandemic? Yeah, it's for us, man. Right. Yes, this is an airline toilet. Hours 40 minutes to Heathrow. So. Are you guys not having lasagna? Then I can wash it down with champagne. What of shiny strides or pizzas? I don't do mainland, only fee high. I'm the man that the babes want to cash it. It's because I base in Los Angeles. Right, um, so I'm in Heathrow right now. Um, there was an incident. So those of you who know me know that I haven't flown British Airways in three years. Um, just because I find I've just just an incident that happened three years ago which was um, British Airways an old woman was on the flight with a quite a heavy bag and she asked the British Airways staff to help her and this guy then said to her actually you shouldn't pack your bag so heavy and if I carry it and I hurt my back nobody's gonna pay my insurance so I decided then that I was not going to use BA just because of the poor customer service. So today, <laughs> I did not have the choice. I didn't want to fly BA, but I'm on a residency program with Lancaster University. And they said they didn't have a choice and that BA was a cheaper option. Uh, and so I said, okay, that's fine. Right. The flight is delayed by an hour, so my connecting flight to Manchester, so there's going to be problems because it's just an hour in between. So I call this um, air hostess or stewardess and I tell her, and she says, no, it's fine. It's going to be it's an hour you can get through. Okay. Then she comes back. Then she, she then comes back and says, um, and starts to give me directions to the terminal and says, do you know Terminal 5? Have you been to Terminal 5? And I said, yes. Remember, this is early morning, right? Um, and then she doesn't respond, so I think, that's odd. Um, and I say yes again. And then, she just gets really upset and goes on a tirade and basically says, um, well, I'm only trying to help. If you don't need my help, don't ask me questions. Okay, so I'm not quite sure what happened then. I say to her, why are you stressed? Like, I don't know what I've done to elicit this response from you. And then she walks off in a hug. British Airways has a really lucrative route in Ghana. They fly about seven days a week and they consistently treat, especially the route from Ghana going to, uh, to Heathrow, London, treat us badly. Why do they still have a license to operate this really good route? Like maybe they're not going to treat us well. Maybe we should not help them make money on our route. I just, I was embarrassed because she said it was a quiet airplane and she was loud but she was disrespectful uh, and I'm angry because I don't understand this look I'm never gonna fight BA again I mean after this I'm never gonna fight BA again that's fine British Airways I'm never going to fight British Airways again but we need to put our money with people that actually respect us 
I mean, even if she thought I was rude in how I responded to her, as a customer service professional, was that the right response? Anyway, I don't give my money to people that don't disrespect me. Um, I'm, it would have to be an extreme circumstance for me to get on a BA flight again. But yeah, so I'm gonna just forget this happened and have a really good time in the UK for the next, the next what, 14 days that I'm here. Billionaire boy, go back for you, take dollar. I'm fine. I'm so. So instead of a seven o'clock flight, I ended up missing that they had to take my bag out and um, made the nine nine forty five flight. So which meant that the pickup couldn't find me when it arrived. Um, but it's eleven something, eleven forty eight now, and uh, I think. So they found me now, and um, we're going to head out to Lancaster. Yeah. I'm flying. I'm from a project. I'm flying. I'm flying. I'm flying, baby. Oh. International. I'm flying, baby.